Oh man, I just saw Godzilla minus one, and it was a freaking blast. Man, like, never I've ever been so scared of Godzilla before, let alone seeing him in the big screen looking at me. Oh, oh man. So, if you cannot tell by my reaction right there, I just saw Godzilla minus one. And like I said, it was amazing as hell. So, um, I'm gonna use his avatar for now, Mechagodzilla, because you know, I love Mechagodzilla. So on. So yeah, let's get on to the review. So yeah, guys, um, it's been like a few days ago that I went to see Godzilla Minus uh, One. I saw it on a Wednesday, like other people in the US. So I saw the movie in IMAX, and oh boy, it was extremely loud and shaky. Every explosion, every roar, every like earthquake, I can definitely feel it. And yeah, never I've ever been, I've never been scared of Godzilla before in the movie. Usually I find these movies um, entertaining and action packed. This movie was like, well, it's kind of the same thing, but seeing it on the big screen. All look like all in, all in the dark, man. It was a scary experience, man. So let's get on with this review by telling you all the things I love about the movie. All right. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is Godzilla itself. Now I had mixed feelings about this design when I first saw it. I honestly thought it was um, not good. I thought it was uh, not bad, but. It was in in between, but um, but the point is, I'm uh, I love the design now of minus one Godzilla, because it reminds me of the Heisei Godzilla, which is the the Godzilla design that I always um loved because I love the Heisei series. The head reminds me of that, and the body, well, the body kind of reminds me of the the Shin Godzilla, like crusty skin, flashing looking, you know, as well as the big thighs. And um, the legs really remind me of a T-Rex, so I guess they're trying to like combine this Godzilla with like elements of dinosaur and like, I don't know, dinosaur and Godzilla. And the dinosaur legs really remind me of uh, Zilla, or Godzilla 1998. So it's kind of nice that they're trying to like, you know, mix the design elements of both monsters, like the Heisei Godzilla and Zilla and... And um... Godzilla 1954. So uh, the spikes really remind me of 1954 Godzilla. Not gonna lie. So I guess the the, the Godzilla design is like a mix of Heisei 1954 and Zilla. I don't know, but that's what I think. And per honestly, this is a perfect Godzilla design. This design screams Godzilla because of the iconic head, the spikes, the body. This really looks like Godzilla compared to the awful plant singular point. And eh, Monster Bros, I don't really mind that, mind that design too much. And since I grew up with it, I kind of like it. However, I prefer this Godzilla design more. Anyways, Godzilla Saurus. Now, I'm pretty sure it's called Godzilla Saurus because it's literally Godzilla as a T-Rex or dinosaur size. And it was it was in that scene where the main character or they first encountered Godzilla on that island. Oh man, that was a scary experience. Especially that part where the light shines on Godzilla, and Godzilla's right in front of them. I thought it was going to shine that Godzilla in the ocean. So yeah, Godzilla Sora is pretty nice design. I was so happy to see that on screen because, in my mind, I was thinking of Godzilla Sora from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. So, yeah. The human characters. So, um, I really love the human characters. Now, human characters in most Godzilla movies tend to be boring, um useless or like just there for the sake of being there or to move the plot I don't mind the human characters that much I like some of them but there are some hearing human characters that I understand that a lot of people do not like however this movie I enjoyed the human characters I love the main character himself literally all these characters the human characters they were really important to the movie because they were trying their best to like get rid of Godzilla or kill Godzilla to prevent more lives from being like dead Especially the main character. Every death, every disaster, everything that happens that's relating to Godzilla, he just keeps having nightmares or thinks about 
that that night where he could have killed it, but he froze. He was a coward. But yeah, that was like an interesting development of that main character. And I gotta say, the human characters in this movie are far better than any of the MonsterVerse human characters, not gonna lie. On to the action scenes. Um, The action scenes, for the most part, are the military scenes. It's just Godzilla killing the military or something, or humans, destroying the city, so on. There's no monster in this movie, spoiler alert. Um, I don't mind Godzilla movies without a monster, because that's, that, has, that has been a trait... That has been a tradition before, so and adding a monster could just add another, like, you know, could be a little conflict, conflicting, you know? But yeah, all the military scenes, all the scenes where Godzilla destroyed the city, those were, like, scary as well, because we see people legit die on screen, getting crushed, flown to the air, and worse, falling to their deaths. And, uh, yeah... The, those scenes were scary, especially the military scene. I think Godzilla literally destroyed that that building, the Japanese building that's like a prime... I don't know. But the point is, that building that was seen in other Godzilla movies, he blew it up like he was an atomic bomb. And the mushroom cloud literally appeared after Godzilla unleashed his atomic breath. That scene gave me like chills up my spine. Not to mention, we see the damage in person in the perspective of the main character man that was so scary Ugh. but yeah I love the action scenes and the military scenes especially the final part now the pacing of the story went smoothly in my opinion it showed our main protagonist what he was doing before that encounter with Godzilla and all the way up to the last and in between, I enjoy all the, the scenes that we have in between between the main characters. Because they were either going on with their lives, or they were just finding another way to kill Godzilla. Or they were witnessing Godzilla's destruction. So I love all of that. The ending. Okay, so um, the final part, man. That was really intense. Seeing those battleships, like, you know, try to, like, sink Godzilla, use the ocean pressure to kill Godzilla. Man, like, that, that scene was really intense because, like, in that scene, I was praying for the human characters' lives because they're literally swimming next to Godzilla. And you know that swimming on a battleship next to Godzilla is a bad idea. Yeah, their plans didn't work for the most part. I mean, they kind of did because Godzilla was, like, rusting or, like, something. I don't know, he was... He was growing white spots or something, I don't know. And then that scene where the fighter jet flies in, into Godzilla's mouth. And the pilot ejects, and boom. Godzilla is dead. Oh wait, it's, re, it's regenerating. Never mind. That, could, that scene kind of reminds me of Giant Monsters All Out Attack. Not gonna lie. So, um, yeah. Those are all the things I love about the movie. The Godzilla itself, the human characters, the action scenes, the story pacing, the ending. Although I'm kind of confused on how that woman survived being thrown while pieces of debris and rubble are like flying at super speed after Godzilla destroyed those tanks. Man, I feel bad for the military in this scenes and those scenes. So um, yeah, guys, um, Godzilla minus one is probably the best movie I saw this year. No, originally it was it was a uh, Transformers: Rise of the Beast, but nope, Godzilla takes the first place. I I never thought it was gonna be this good guys because Godzilla movies nowadays they have been all right decent but not as good as minus one so yeah I really hope we could get a sequel uh, I haven't heard of a sequel in the works so far so there's that anyways guys those are my opinions my thoughts on Godzilla minus one I think it's the best Godzilla movie of all time well not really of all time there are some good ones but I think it's the best modern Godzilla movie ever from 2014 to now, Godzilla Minus One is the best modern Godzilla movie ever. I said it. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Godzilla Minus One in the comments down below. And uh, next year, I plan to do more Godzilla reviews. I'll review every single one of them. Every movie, as well as the anime. So, um, I'm going to prepare myself for that. So uh, if this video gets a lot of support, I will continue. Uh, I will make another Godzilla video right away, uh, starting with the 1954 movie. So um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this video, 
and share your support. And if you love Godzilla, or Ultraman, or anime, or kaiju stuff in general, you should definitely check out my other videos, because I have other videos about them, as well as toy reviews. So, um, yeah guys, I uh, hope you guys have a nice day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.